how do we tune the guitar this on the on the beginners level we will say that with these tuners electronic tuners like this one or this you can have an idea of the a note and from the a you should be able to tune it well of course in the beginning people they tune all the strings with the tuner like say you see that it marks uh, green then that's good according to the machine then a bit less this one test we are doing with a guitar that, that does tune properly. <laughs> Imagine if the guitar doesn't tune or the top is out of tune, like we said in another video. Then forget it. But this tuning thing is a mystery. It is said that guitar players spend half of their lives tuning and the other half thinking they already tuned. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, because it's this tuning business is a, it's a big problem if we don't know how to handle it. So, according to, the, to, the, to that machine there you have, this is tuned. Look, green light, green light, green light, green, green, and green. But now, it's better that you take just the reference of the fifth string, for example, and then once this is tuned, then you should tune positionally, means in the position you are playing. For example, if I am playing in, in por arriba, in the upper position, in E, here, if we are playing here, we should tune there with the position we are playing. Know that we tune, we will play an E major and we are tuning in D major because look, here it sounds pretty good, right? But now if I do this, is, is not very, very accurate because you have to do a compromise with the string. So when we will play on, on this position on D major, here we will, we will have to turn down the first string a bit and the second two and now look let's see this one is good look this is a fairly tuned D major chord how, how do you do this? I mean how do you know if, it, if it's not tuned? okay that's what we have to learn by experience because the machine will tell you only that machine will tell you even if it tells you chromatically the notes but the guitar really speaking doesn't tune with the with the machines with these electronic mm -hmm. tuners because uh, that will give a reference more or less but you have to be uh, switching it a bit and making this compromise of the strings according to the position in which you are playing the key say for example for D major look well how do we know if it is in tune is because it sounds beautiful that's one mm -hmm. that one thing because the harmony that that creates the proper tuning it gives a nice tone for example look this one is, is it sounds good on D. But if now I try to play the same E major, look what happened. You see? The tuning that was good for D here on E is not good. And if I tune for the position E look. You see? It's amazing what we are saying now. It's very good. Look. How does it, it sounds this? It sounds good. E major, more or less tuned, right? What is this? this is a, oh, oh, no, no problem. Okay, now. It sounds good here, right? Now. 
if I try to play D here now, look, that's not no. or C. You see, you see, that's C major. C major chord. Look, we have C. Now let's try to tune on C. This is a C major chord, more or less nicely tuned. Look, right? But if now I try to play D, look. Yeah. This thing happens. This is a first class guitar, and and it's happening here. So imagine a guitar that doesn't tune really. Although this bad, badly calculated the frets, or that is bended, because if the guitar bends, then the distance between the 12th fret and this note, and the 12th fret and this note, will change. It has to be exactly the same. And if it is not exactly the same, even half millimeter less, will we'll make it out of tune, the octave, right? Mm -hmm. That will mean the octave here. but. The guitar as an instrument, it has to be tempered. It's, it cannot tune just like an electronic gadget or like a like an electronic keyboard. It has to be tuned, tempered, tempered more more than tuned. And now we have here some temperature, some climate mm -hmm. with the heater and that. And if we go outside to the cold, it will still change because it depends on the strings. Of course, the strings should be proper. It depends on so many things, the tuning. First of all, the guitar has to be perfectly made. And the top should be tuned. Like this, this top tune, uh, this top is tuned in G, look. It's, it's, it's tuned in G. So first of all, the, the top is tuned in one uh, key. And then the back is, is generally tuned one tone up. One, so if this is G, then the top is A. If the top is, is G, the, the back is A. Sorry. One tone up. Generally. Santos Hernandez, for example, made, made it like that. So the guitar has to tune, starting by the top, the fretboard should be perfect. The, fr the frets should not be bended, anything. The strings should be proper, because there are defective strings that doesn't tune also. That can happen. I would not say the brand, because it will sound like I'm <laughs> <laughs> speaking against this guy, and I'm a guitar teacher. I have nothing to do with that. But uh, the strings should be very good. And then once the strings are, are, are OK, the, the fretboard is, is flawless, the, 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 the top is tuned perfectly uh, since when the guitar was made. Now we have to still tune by positions. So when you will play when you will play por medio here in A here is okay. You tune tune and adjust the strings to that position. And we will play in C. Then we tune to that position. When we will play in E, that was what that was good. This and more or less, although this G has to be low. It will change. So the, the tip is try to tune on the position of the key you are playing, on the key you are playing. That's why pieces with so many keys put into fire test the guitar as an instrument itself. The guitar will tune, but will be tempered, should be tempered.